kids! This is Ma'am Alona Moreno, your science teacher. Today, we have an interesting lesson. But before that, let us answer this first. Read the given phrases. Tell whether the materials are in motion or not in motion. Number one, swaying leaves. Very good. The answer is in motion. Two, picture frame on the wall. You are correct. It is not in motion. Number three, flying bird. Very good. It is in motion. Flowing water. Excellent. It is in motion. Book in a shelf. You are correct, not in motion. Before we proceed to our lesson, let's read the following words. Conductor. Insulator. Heat. Electricity. Very good. At this time, kids, you will going to observe the picture in one minute. In which materials does the bulb lighted? Ready? Begin. Okay, kids, what have you observed? Where does the bulb is lighted? The bulb is lighted on steel and copper. In what materials does the bulb is not lighted? Very good. The bulb is not lighted on wood and glass. Let's watch and listen to the video presentation. Write down important details about the topic presented in the video. Remember kids, what are the things that said to be as conductors and what is conductor according to the video? Ready? You watch the video. You think this dill pickle is a conductor or an insulator? How about this cup of water? Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and is it a conductor or insulator? A conductor is an object or material that allows the flow of negatively charged electrons in one or more directions, which results in electric current. An electrical insulator is a material in which the electrons do not flow freely. What we will do in this video is take a look at some different objects. We have some metals, some plastics, a sharpie, how about a pickle, and some water. We will hook it up to some electricity and see if it is a conductor or an insulator. So here's how I'm going to test if it's a conductor or an insulator. I have a simple circuit. The object I'm testing will complete the circuit. In this example, a pickle. If the light turns on, it indicates it's a conductor and allows the flow of electrons. If the light does not turn on, it's an insulator because it stops the flow of electrons. Up first, we have copper. Hook it up. And yes, it's a conductor. How about this piece of plastic? Flip the switch. Nothing happens. It is going to be an insulator. Now we move on to another piece of metal. It's aluminum. Flip the switch. And yes, it is a conductor. Now how about some wood? Hook it up. Flip the switch. 
nothing happens. So it is an insulator. After the block of wood, let's try this. How about we try a Sharpie? It's plastic, it's hooked up, we go to the switch, and nothing happens. So it is an insulator. How about this? Let's try some water. I've got two nails hooked in. I flip the switch. Nothing happens. Well, let's modify the water slightly. Let's add some salt. As I add the salt, I pour it in. I go back to the switch. What do you think? Is it going to change? I hit the switch, and yes, it is now a conductor. The salt allows the electrons to move freely. Next, let's try this screwdriver. The reason why I use this, I have plastic on one end, metal on the other. I flip the switch, nothing happens. But now, if I move it to where it is touching metal only, it's now a conductor. So the plastic helps insulate it. How about this? How about the pickle? It has a lot of salt in it. Well, I don't know about that. I plug it in. It smokes a lot. It glows. But I would consider it an insulator. How about celery? It kind of tastes salty. Maybe it has enough salt in there. I plug it in and, well, you can see for yourself. Nothing really happens. Well, it does start smoking a little bit. So let's see what happens with the celery with 110 volts going through it smoking but it is an insulator it's kind of cool looking though next how about the apple uh, it's kind of a dud well not really it's an insulator so if you need to insulate an apple is your object so let's summarize what we learned on the conductor side and they're green because they allow the flow of electrons we have copper aluminum salt water the metal portion of a screwdriver, in addition the human body, iron, and silver. And the insulators are red because they stop the flow of electrons. By the way, most electrical insulators and conductors are also thermal insulators and conductors. We have plastic, wood, the sharpie because it's plastic, the plastic end of the screwdriver, the pickle, celery, apple, and in addition, you have rubber, glass, and dry air. What are the materials shown in the video? The electricity flow freely or pass through? Very good. The materials are copper, aluminum, metal in a screwdriver, water with salt. These are the materials that shown in the video that the electricity flow freely or pass through. As shown in the picture, the bulb lighted because the electricity flows freely on the materials used like copper and aluminum. What do you call those materials? Excellent! We call these materials as conductor. What are the materials shown in the video? to not allow electricity to flow or pass through. Correct! The materials are wood, plastic, pencil pen, apple, lick stem, pickle, screwdriver with plastic handle. As it's shown on the pictures, the bulb not lighted because the electricity does not flow on the materials used, like the wood, plastic, and pickles. What do you call those materials? Good job! We call these materials as insulator. What is conductor? Conductor are materials that allow electricity and heat to flow freely. Metals are good conductors of heat and electricity. Copper and aluminum are metals. Stainless steel is an iron-based metal. They are all good conductors. What are materials that are good conductors of heat and electricity? Very good. Some of these are frying pan, casserole, and kettle. 
Where do we use these materials? Correct. We use that materials in cooking. That's why when we use these materials, we can cook our food. What do you think will happen if you use a metal spoon to stir your food and you accidentally leave it in there? The metal spoon will become hot. It will quickly transfer the thermal energy from the hot food to your hand as you touch it. This could give you a burn. That is one of the characteristic of a conductor materials is to allow the heat to pass through. Why the chef use a pot holder in touching the pan? Correct. To avoid burning of his hand because the pan is hot. The pot holder do not allow the thermal energy to pass through to his hand. Not all materials are good conductors of heat and electricity. What do you call the materials that are not allowed the heat and electricity to pass through? Very good. This is what we call the insulator. Insulators are materials that are non-conductors or do not allow heat and electricity to pass through. Materials that are made of plastic, paper, silk, leather, glass, oil, and rubber are insulators. Let us have now an activity. Say C if the picture is a conductor and I if the picture is an insulator. Very good. It is letter I. Leaves do not allow the heat to pass through. It is an insulator. Next picture. Excellent. It is an I. Insulator. Book does not allow the heat to pass through. Next one. Good job. Letter C. Metal steel is a conductor. It allows the heat and electricity to flow. Next. Very good. Letter I. It is an insulator. A cloth does not allow the heat and electricity to pass through. The last one. Very good. It is letter C. Metal spoon is a conductor. Remember, conductors are materials that allow electricity and heat to flow freely through them. Insulators are materials that are non-conductors or that do not allow the heat and electricity to pass through them. Let's answer the following. Read the direction carefully. The direction is, choose the letter of the best answer. For your assignment, using the letters of the alphabet, write different examples of good conductors. Thank you.